Reaching the Pacific nation of Tonga has been impossible so far. Instead, all that can be done are reconnaissance flights by New Zealand and Australian Air Force planes. Their images show how badly communities have been hit by the tsunami. A thick layer of ash is also preventing any aid flights from actually landing. They need to clear the runway. Uh, latest information I have is that 60% of the runway has been cleared. Um, and this is done manually. Um, I hear up to 200 volunteers are sweeping the runway. The eruption on Saturday afternoon is being described as a once in 1,000 year geological event. Satellite photos over the capital show how the once verdant tropical paradise is now coated with a thick layer of volcanic ash. There are concerns for how this will impact the supply of drinking water and in the longer term food supplies. Lots of people in Tonga will be um, will get their water from the rain and also they're dependent on growing their own food so there's definitely a threat to sustain themselves. Rugby player Malachi Fekitoa, who plays for Wasps, is anxiously waiting to contact his family. His mother, his brothers, sisters, nephews and nieces all live on a low-lying island near the eruption. Uh, they're in a, a small island called uh, Hapai. Uh, it's right next to the uh, volcano. I haven't spoken to my mum uh, for a week now. I try calling. Um, obviously, there's a blackout uh, at the moment. and um, Yeah, it's been tough. Three days on and the fate of some of the outlying islands of Tonga and their people is still largely unknown. Dam Rivers, News at 10.